Hi guys, uh, yesterday I was working on the center section of the layout then I was running one of those locomotives here when it got to this point here on this uh, Shinohara turnout it stopped so I tested the track I used this uh, here to test the power so I put it upside down and it comes on it's a light bulb so there was no power so what I noticed I don't know if you have seen in the Shinohara uh, switches there is a copper contact under the right there you can see so that when it moves it makes contact with the stock rail and delivers power to the point rails so these contacts aren't working well so every time the locomotive came on, on top of this uh, turnout it would stop it wouldn't do all the time I mean I've run many locomotives but it never stopped but yesterday it did and that made me to take it out and uh, I'm not gonna fix that so So what I did, I added a, a wire right here, I soldered it on, so this will power the center rails, the frog and the points, everything in the center. It's going to change polarity by using this relay pack here. This is a Time Valley Depot relay pack. It has two outputs so uh, you can use one for a switch and the other one you can use for a signal so I'm gonna use actually uh, some of these I don't have too many of these relay packs uh, I can use it for my signaling here uh, it comes with a Y cable and they get attached to this uh, push button boards here so you see they change the color and shows you which way the train is gonna go so this plug goes into that and basically it operates the relay and also operates the switch so what I'm gonna do this is how it works so the center connection goes to the switch the frog and the two side ones go to the track power is the same thing over here don't know if you can see the drawing the center piece the center contact goes to the whatever you want to use could be a light signal or switch and the two outside ones go to the track power I just have to make sure I get this uh, track power correctly unless it was short so yeah uh, again another issue with uh, switches I don't know if you watched my last video I had issues with uh, Atlas switch so I'm gonna install this do the wiring I have to take this board out and wire in the back and uh, that's gonna be a little bit of, of work because there is a lot of wires back here let me show you I gotta find out so this is the the switch this one here so I gotta find out which one it is run wires under and then connect it so after it's done uh, I'll make another video and attach to this one. Okay guys, uh, I put the switch in place but I haven't hooked up the wires yet. And let me show you what happens.
could get stuck. So as soon as I push on this uh, point rail here, it should move. Okay. So when I break the contact, it stops. Alright, so after I do the install this, uh, I'll show you guys. Alright guys, I wired the relay. Okay, so there's a little problem. Hopefully I can explain it so you guys will understand. Okay, when I push this button here, the relay gets thrown instantly so it changes polarity right away but the switch here look how slowly it moves so you heard that puff that was the track shorting and the locomotive comes on and turns off so what happens let me show you you'll see the light come on the bulb uh, the protection light okay so what happens before this track gets disconnected from this one because it's moving so slowly it shorts out it, uh, the relay changes the polarity of this center tracks so right now let's say this is white this is black okay so right now the relay it's uh, contacting the black it's because this right line track is black this is white so right now the center everything it's black okay so when I bring the switch throw the switch to this side so right now the center tracks are white including the side the track on on this side it's white so now when I push the button the relay will switch to black wire but the center tracks are still connected to the white so when I push the button the center tracks will change to black but they are still connected to the white so that's why it shorts I don't know if uh, Octopus Tree, I don't remember if it has a delay on the relay or not, but I know, I think the singlet that controls only one switch, I think that one has a delay. So what it does, it gives it a delay before it changes the polarity. So switches slow like this will have time to go to the other side before shorting with this track so I think I have another uh, Shinohara track uh, what I did I stuck a tape clear masking uh, I mean uh, packing tape on the inside of this uh, uh, point rail here but couple of inches or so or maybe shorter so yeah this one I have to do about a couple of inches of tape or some kind of insulation on the inside here so when these two connect they don't do any electrical connection so this way 
it won't short the track so now when I push the button you'll see the light will come on again so you see it move to the other side all right so I'm gonna read the manual of the octopus tree see if it has a delay or not I don't remember I don't think it has it but uh, if it doesn't then I have to do some type of insulation in the center I think tape is the best thing all right then